What's up guys, Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again. Hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Okay, we have had a very interesting day today. Um, I, uh, I was a little, I was baffled, I'll, I'll say that, at around, what was it, about uh, 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. today, I see this huge spike in XRP and like all these other coins were selling off and I'm like what the heck is going on so I didn't know about this uh, this news I guess uh, that had come out and uh, anyway I, I, after I saw it I did a little research I found out it was supposed to be some filing that that happened right so okay and I and then I did a little more research and people were saying it was fake and all of that okay so it makes sense that if if we get good news, we will get a spike in the price, which makes total sense. But as I was scrolling through X later on, not not too long ago, I came across a video that was uh, posted. Well, okay, so the the actual creator of the video, I guess his name is Kyle, but Space One Eleven. Uh, I'm, I was following him. He actually posted Kyle's post or re, or, or uh, reposted it. So as I'm looking at it, I'm like, and let's go ahead and take a look here. So he's going through this, going through the Delaware uh, site here, the state of for the state of Delaware. He does the iShares um, entity and. Uh, Sure enough, as you can see here, iShares Trust or XRP Trust. Now look, guys. I've I filed um, lots of stuff with the state, with you know all of that, and you know I'm not saying this is real. You know, a lot of people are saying it's fake. Um, I don't know, but I can tell you that I followed this guy I looked at the website and sure enough boom I looked it up myself all right and it says this is not a statement of good standing um, I'm not sure exactly what that means but the fact is it's here and it's um, it has BlackRock's name on it I, so look I'm very much confused it could very well be fake, but, uh, you know, if you, I'll put it like this. If you go to the, the, the comptroller here in Texas, or you go and file, file something like this, um, and it's, it's actually fake, um, to be honest with you, I'm not sure what type of, uh, uh repercussions you'd be facing. And someone actually going through the trouble of doing this on behalf of a company like BlackRock I don't I I just I don't know about this I'm not sure exactly what the heck is going on here um, it's very strange uh, so I don't know you guys tell me if this is fake okay it's cool but I'm not sure that we should just dismiss it um, I, I, over the next couple days here, you know, I'm going to continue to do some research into this. But I mean, considering the, the, you know, the state of our country right now, the fact that you have so much misinformation and then people, you know, then you got people going back and trying to uh, discredit information that may be true. It's just it's hard to tell these days. Very difficult to tell. And um, like I said, I, I, I don't know. Something, I think some type of game is being played on some level at the very least. Um, I don't know, guys. This is, this is super, super strange. Um, so, yeah, if, if it is fake, I would expect somebody to be called to the carpet uh, over this particular incident because this is a big deal you can't just go filing um, official documents 
in the name of a of a country a country a company like BlackRock. It does it just it doesn't work like that. You cannot you cannot do that. That is uh, that is you know called a crime. <laughs> so if you're if you're found out to have done it uh, fraudulently, that is a crime. So I don't know. Again, guys, I just wanted to uh, drop this out there. Um, it is interesting. Outside of that, uh, again, the spike in <laughs> the spike in XRP was really interesting too. Uh, man, the look on my face, I'm sure people could see, could have seen it. Other than that, not a whole lot is going on. Um, these these days where, yeah, we're having some volatility, but at the same time, we're kind of just waiting to see what happens. To be honest with you, I, I almost feel like uh, something's being done to try to stifle this this bull run. It, it just it just it just seems really strange. A lot of I mean, I know the, the market does what it's going to do and it's kind of hard to uh, get outside that. But at the same time, the way things are happening, it's just really, really strange. Uh, I don't I don't know, uh, you know, I don't know if I can completely put my finger on it, but there's something just not kosher. But hey, either way, we uh, all we can do is sit and wait. Um, I remember I'm going to just recall one thing years back in 2018. Uh, when I, you know, soon after I started this channel, I came across a, uh, a, a link to a to a site. And it was talking about how the and this is uh, this actually was from years ago, like from the 30s or 40s or something. And they were talking about how they how the market is actually or markets are actually manipulated. And ever since I read that article and I, I'm, I've had, I have tried to find that thing over and over again, I have not been able to find it. I've looked through all my bookmarks. I I was pretty sure I bookmarked it. I, I just cannot find it. But um, every time I've, uh, it, well, ever since I've read that, I can see the exact thing that it was talking about. Like all the things that they said or that the article said uh, is done to actually manipulate the market, manipulate the retail uh, investor. It's it's continuously done over and over again. They use the they use the media, they they use hearsay, they use um, all everything that you see is exactly what this article said. So um, getting d doing what uh, really the only person that even talks about this is is blockchain backer, but. <clears throat> doing the exact opposite of what you're being led to do is the only way to come out on top. Because if you if you pay attention, you'll see the direction they're trying to take you in. And it's only for retail investors because we are totally blind to anything that's going on in the background. You know, they're going to try to lead us down that path so they can take our money through these markets. They always dump on us because they have huge shares in it, huge amounts of, of, you know, whether it's in the stock market or crypto, they have huge amounts. So they, they easily wrong foot us and, and we easily wrong foot ourselves. So the only thing I can tell you is always do the exact opposite of what you're being led to do. And I've, I've been doing that myself. And to be honest with you, things have been going a lot better for me. So anyway, that's all I have to say here, guys. I really hope <laughs> you guys have had a great day and uh, you're obviously taking care of yourselves. Just make sure you uh, keep your eyes open. There's more than these markets to be concerned about. A lot of stuff going on in the world, especially right here in the USA. Um, our government, our government is not our friend. You know, they, they, it's. I mean, they are, they are actively working against us, from 
the food to the air to medical uh, so-called medical help I mean there's so many things that are being aimed at us uh, it's just unbelievable it's absolutely unbelievable I never would have thought you know when I was a bit when I man when I was a, in my early 20s I joined the military and uh, I joined because I was you know a bit patriotic I mean, it's my country you know um, and uh, I had a very good vision as to how my I wanted my life to go and uh, yeah now to see how everything is going this is what we're seeing right now is absolutely wrong so again keep your eyes open uh, take care of your families there's a lot of stuff coming at us and it's it's going to be coming here really soon so anyway with all that being said this has been mr free coiner take care of yourselves and god bless mm -hmm.